Topic 3, Therese, a child surrounded by love. We belong to parents without equal who surrounded us both with the same cares and the same tenderness. Oh my, she says, may they bless the littlest of their children and help her to sing the divine mercies. Once again, she's quoting from Psalm 89, verse 1. And she adds, God was pleased all through my life to surround me with love. Would that that would be everyone's story. The youngest of the Martin children knew firsthand her father's tenderness and could remember a time uh, when she was loved by her deceased mother. Uh, Zélie Martin died when Therese was four and a half. She had a sense of her mother's love from her older sisters, her elder sisters, but also through uh, letters. Uh, her mother, and I'll come back to this, uh, Zélie was a great letter writer. Therese recalls a time when whom she calls her papa, carried her around the house on his boot. If you're a grandparent, grandfather, you know what it's like to take a small grandchild and put her or him on your foot and carry them around, and what a great glee they get from that. Um, and Teresa, uh, Teresa's mother says this, um, that when she saw this happening, she remarked, Louis will do anything for that girl. By the way, that's a rough translation of the French. His response was, well, what do you expect? She's the queen. And Therese adds, then he would take me in his arms, lift me very high, set me on his shoulder, kiss and caress me in many ways. This was a huggin' and a muggin' family that kissed a lot and showed a lot of affection to each other. And what a blessing that is in a family where children are so warmly welcomed into the life of the family. How well uh, Therese knew that her father, Papa, the king she called him, loved her so dearly and openly. And the Martin daughters knew a mother's very tender love for them, expressed not only in her letters, but physically when she was, uh, uh, she was made for children, she said, and she loved them. She said, uses the words, in fact, she was crazy about children. And Therese felt that, once she had offended her mama, and she quickly repented. She said, I'm sorry for this. And Zully's response was, I took my angel in my arms, pressed her to my heart, and covered her with kisses. These kids, these children, these young women knew uh, that they were dearly loved. These kisses and hugs were part of everyday fare in the Martin household. Therese knew that her parents loved and cherished her. They, and that's going to be a great gift because we'll see when suffering comes along uh, that the cushion for that is the affection that she knew she had from her parents and from her siblings. Though ailing for a long time, Zully's death from breast cancer was traumatic for the whole family and took a severe toll on the youngest of the Martin family, uh, Therese. Zully's death brought to a close what Therese calls the first phase of my life. She says, I entered the second period of my existence, the most painful of the three, because now she would be missing the mother she had, and there'll be other uh, absences that we'll speak of that brought her pain and could have made her into a very dysfunctional child, and we'll see how that works out. Therese, however, was fortunate that her father rose above his own sorrow for his spouse. He was greatly in love uh, with Zelly, uh, but he took it upon himself and knew instinctively that he had to show not only a father's love, but a mother's love also. Therese says as much when she comments, Our father, very affectionate, heart seemed to me to be enriched now with a truly maternal love. Sully Martin died on August 28th in 1877 when Therese was four and a half. By November of that year, uh, Louis and his five daughters, Marie, Pauline, Leonie, Celine, and Therese, moved to a town where Zully's brother and sister-in-law lived with their two daughters. And so he wanted to be near family. Therese will share with us in the story of a soul, 
Uh, what she encountered was the beneficiary of uh, family life at what they now called Les Buisinettes. The word in French means little bushes. It was surrounded uh, by these bushes um, and was not very far away from the monastery in the Sur, which will become uh, a, a family uh, destination. During those uh, years following her mother's death, Céline and Thérèse developed a very intimate and supportive relationship. They really became very, very close. Zélie Guérin, who became Zélie Martin, uh, frequently mentions in her letters how her daughters were developing. She kept an eye on them, and she comments on them. They're her whole world. And she says of Thérèse that this young girl, she knew her, she's, this, all these comments are before Thérèse is four and a half, she found her to be intelligent and especially has a wonderful memory, which we'll see serves her very well. Uh, however, uh, Zelie also notes with some uh, frequency in her letters, this child is an imp. Um, I say, thank God she was an imp. She sown some of that spirit that will be channeled into her life of, of love of God and love of neighbor uh, eventually. And had she not been an imp, well, maybe she wouldn't have uh, been so daring and revolutionary. That impishness was indeed fodder for the grace that raised up an imp into a saint and a doctor of the church. And her native intelligence and good memory would be apt ingredients in someone whose lack of schooling could yet shape for the church its youngest daughter. <laughs> 